NLP is a discipline, it's a unique discipline uh, in terms of how we accredited the program, uh, in terms of our graduate, our graduate program, our postgraduate qualification in NLP. We had it classified as a behavioural science. So in our view, it fits into the behavioural sciences, though I must say it's distinctly different to psychology. Uh, psychology, or well, certainly in its heyday in terms of behaviourism, focuses on people's behaviour and quite often it's divorced from the context within which the behaviour occurs. NLP has a different unit of study, that is pattern. So if we're looking at a pattern of behaviour, that takes into account the context within which the pattern occurs and the entire sequence, not just the behaviour, but the, whole, the entire sequence of the pattern itself. Uh, this is a, actually a significant difference uh, between NLP and psychology. Uh, another key difference is typically psychology is based on experimental psychology and of course any, any results go through some sort of statistical analysis. With NLP we're not interested in the norm or plus or minus one standard deviation around the norm, you know the average. We're interested in people who have skills, that have patterns of behaviour that are exceptional. These are the people who would be at the far right end of a normal distribution. So one of the big differences is that NLP studies human excellence. We find people who are very, very good at what they do, and then we capture what they do for a process called NLP modeling. We then code, des describe in a, in a transferable way what it is that they're doing, the patterns that make up the skill, the capability, so that those skills can be transferred to other people. So it's a very, very different type of a field. It's certainly concerned with and focuses on human excellence.